what is the purpose of dialogue here the purpose of the dialogue is important to generate appropriate dialogue i'm writing a book but my computer is giving me a lot of trouble what kind of a configuration should i look now he wants to get some information about that so his boss rahul's boss had paid him 15 days of earned leave Hello everyone I am Babita Tamaya lecturer department of english with the ashram pre university college the temple of excellence mysuru in my previous session i had discussed about the subject verb agreement today i'll be discussing about dialogue writing when i say dialogue writing you are familiar with this because you have already learned in your previous year that is in the post first pc so again i'm talking or i'm discussing about the same topic that is dialogue writing so what is this dialogue writing what is this language function what do you mean by dialogue here when you communicate with other person or when you want to reach your ideas to the other person or to share your ideas you will communicate or you will start with the conversation that is known as dialogue but the way you conversate it should be very polite you cannot go in a rude way you cannot question or you cannot answer them in a very rude way it should be formal and very polite where and one more thing i need to say you here is you cannot use any local language here the vocabulary should be very clear and perfect no local languages is used it means to say that hi bro hi sis all that such things will never happen the conversation it should be written in a formal way only what is this language function here one should be aware that language is used to perform different functions in oral and written forms like asking for information apologizing greeting and so on so what is language function here language function is when you want your ideas to be reached in a verbal form or to share in a verbal form this language function is very important maybe orally or written it might be in a sign language with the actions where i'll not open my mouth i'll close my mouth and i'll make some actions it means to say that by looking into the signs by looking into the actions what i do you will just get to know what is that i am talking about that is known as the oral or the written form of language so what is all about it is about the sign that is the conversation which happens between me and you that is known as the oral or the written form so what are the different language functions here it might be about the information seeking the information or apologizing or greeting all these not only these things expressing your gratitude leave taking all these are also the language function so all these language functions you have already learned in your first pc where it was asked for 5 to 6 marks so now let's see this dialogue writing will fetch you how many marks so moving further you will get to know for how many marks this questions will this question will be asked note that to construct a dialogue you must first try to find out the relationship between the speakers so what you have to do here you need to find out the relationship between the speakers without finding the relationship it's not possible for you to create a dialogue or to do the conversation between the two person so whatever you con whatever you speak whatever the speaking goes on what happens here is whatever i speak the reader should understand it if the reader is not able to understand what happens with the language function the language function will goes wrong so you should be very perfect in creating the dialogue or while the conversation goes between the two people you must also be aware of the context of the dialogue what you must be aware you should be, you must be aware of the context of the dialogue so what is the purpose of dialogue here the purpose of the dialogue is important to generate appropriate dialogue 
So without reading the question, you cannot start writing the answer. When you start writing the conversation, there should be a connectivity from one dialogue to the another. So the questions will be given looking into the bracket, the, the information will be given. So based on that information, you need to create the dialogue. So whatever you write, it should be perfect. It should be able to understand the one who reads. So that's, that is how you need to create the dialogue. The most important thing, as I told, your vocabulary and the formal way, not to use the informal or the local languages anywhere, where you cannot fetch the marks. Find out if the dialogue should include formal or informal expression. As I've told, formal or informal. When the question is asked in a formal way, your answer should be written in a formal way itself. You cannot write it in an informal way. Informal, when I say informal, you cannot use the local language, but there is a different way of writing the answer for the informal way also. But make sure that whether the question is in the informal or in the formal way. A dialogue begins with the greeting and ends with leave taking. So always how the dialogue begins. The dialogue begins with a greeting and it ends with leave taking. So when we start with the conversation, you will directly not ask, Hey, I just want to know where this bus goes at reach or I need to reach a railway station. I'm new to it. Can you please guide me? It is not the way. First, you need to greet the people. After greeting, only then the conversation happens. You cannot ask the person in a rude way. If it is a stranger, whoever it is, you should go in a polite way with greeting. Once you're done, the most important thing is leave taking. Leave taking, that is thanking the person, one who has helped you. This is how the dialogue starts and begins. So I have one question which is solved here. Let's go through with the question. It is about Professor Sharon who wants to buy a new computer for his personal use. So what he wants to buy? He wants to buy a new computer for his personal use. So he consults Mr. Pradeep, a computer engineer. So to buy a new computer, whom he is consulting? He is consulting Pradeep, who is a computer engineer. So he wants something to buy because whatever the computer he is having right now, it is not working properly. So he is consulting a computer engineer. Let's see how the conversation begins. Sharon, good afternoon, Mr. Pradeep. It's greeting. So Sharon is greeting. He is welcoming. He is saying, good afternoon, Mr. Pradeep. When I say good afternoon, what should be your reply? One, you might say good afternoon or hello, Professor Sharon. Anything is fine. So here Pradeep says, hello, Professor. So what does he want here? I'm seeing you after a long time. How are you? So here what happens? They both are introducing here. First, Sharon is greeting Mr. Professor. After that, he is just introducing himself and saying here, how are you? It means to say that he is showing his concern towards his health as well as his family. So, Sharon, fine, thank you. Note, this is very important. When it is in a formal way, saying thank you is very important. I am writing a book, but... My computer is giving me a lot of trouble. Now, I want to buy a new PC. PC is personal computer. Could you help me? Sharing information, problem or complaint. So, what he wants? What he wants to do now? Why he needs a computer here? He already has a personal computer, but he just wants to buy a new one as there is a lot of trouble in that. He wants to write a book, but he has a problem with his personal computer. So he has come to buy a new computer and he is seeking, he is just giving the information, sharing the information. What is the purpose of buying the new computer? So it might be sharing the information or in other way, it might be the problem with his personal computer or it might be a complaint 
about the computer whatever it is but it is the piece of information he is giving there for what is the purpose of buying and why is it he buying the purpose is to write a book he wants to write a book but he has a problem so he wants a better computer for his personal use where he can start his writing pradeep certainly which pc do you have now so pradeep is saying okay certainly fine sir i will help you out but he just wants to know what kind of a pc you are using now right now you have your personal pc but what kind of a pc it is what does mr sharan says here i have an old pentium 4 processor now that i am quite familiar with the computer i can use a faster system it is a two very 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 old system he is having and now he says now i am familiar with the computer system where i can work bit faster so pradeep says quite right fine sir i think you should go for core i3 so i3 i7 i9 like that you have now so he is just telling him to go with core i3 for the personal use just pick core i3 so what sharan says what technical specifications should i look for so he is just now asking he needs some information about that what kind of a configuration should i look now he wants to get some information about that so what does he reply he replies well a 500 gb hard disk drive and 2 gb of ram so he just wants for his personal use so he says with 500 gb and 2 gb of ram this helps you out for you to write a book i suppose that should be more than enough for your work giving information so only to write a book this computer is very well for you so that this computer is more than enough for you to write a book sharan thank you see you tomorrow so what he gets all the information and what does he say he says thank you it is the leave taking he is taking leave he is going away and he says yes see you tomorrow before leaving he thanks him and he says that yes i'll be coming back tomorrow so this is the formal way of writing the conversation first what i need to do in the sense most of the time most of the students what they do in the sense they never read the question properly or sometimes what they do in the sense they just read the first line i mean to say here is just read the first line here and whatever the information given in the brackets you'll never see it so without reading the complete conversation or the complete question it is really not possible for you to write the answer because when it comes to the third or the fourth line the answer or the clues whatever given in the bracket it might be totally different it may not vary with the first answer as well as the third answer or the third blank what you fill there so make sure that before answering you'll read the complete conversation first has well has the information in the brackets and then you start writing the answer so moving on to the next one here is a exercise 1 what is the exercise here complete the following dialogues so you need to complete the dialogue here so what is the dialogue all about here teacher and a student named riya it is about the teacher and the student what is the teacher wants to know why is the teacher is she complaining or what is the thing happening between the teacher and the student here teacher you are late to class riya so now what is happening here you are late to the class riya so the teacher is complaining complaining about who she is complaining about riya she is just complaining why are you late to the class so what will be her reply when she asks why are you late she cannot say if you don't want me to take in say the class okay fine i'll go she cannot say that and she cannot walk out of the class she cannot be so rude with the teacher she should be very polite in answering it so how does she answer here riya madam i am sorry 
what will she say i am sorry by saying this one word you're not going to lose anything so whatever the attitude whatever the ego you have keep everything aside don't show your attitude or your ego anywhere because by saying sorry or thank you you're not going to lose anything so it is your mistake you have done a mistake you have to agree that and move on so she says madam i'm sorry and she gives the reason why she is late i missed my bus i missed the bus so the regular bus she comes every day she has missed that bus so she says i'm sorry i missed the bus the next bus arrived arrived late so apologizing by saying sorry she is apologizing the teacher because she has missed the bus she was late to the class so teacher in that case you should what the teacher is giving the suggestion here what is the suggestion here in that case you should reach the stop early so what does she says if you have missed the bus so what you have to do from the next time you should reach the stop early you should reach the stop early so instead the teacher is shouting at her she is giving her the suggestion what she has to do next so that she'll not miss her class or she'll never be late to the class so teacher a uh, teacher she says that in that case you need to or you should reach the stop early riya agree and leave taking she says yes ma'am or yes ma'am why ma'am you she is agreeing for the suggestion what the teacher has given she says yes ma'am and leave taking leave taking is again thank you we'll say thank you and bye so this is the formal way of answering you should be very polite as i told very polite very careful with your vocabulary very careful with the conversation so you need to see the information given in the bracket then you need to answer or else there will be no connectivity from one question to the another or from one blank to the another you should be very careful here so let's see the next exercise so here this exercise is about a husband and wife here so it is not the formal conversation it will be the informal conversation so when i say informal conversation you cannot say that oh my sweetheart my darling my love you cannot use such kind of a local language so when i say local i already told local if it is in a informal way you can use it but not this kind of a local language no way you will use such things like my bro my sis nothing will be used in the conversation so here what is all about rahul his wife payal payal my boss has accepted to sanction me 15 days of earned leave earned leave in the sense paid leave so his boss rahul's boss had paid him 15 days of earned leave so now we'll see here payal it's a blank rahul suggestion payal disagreeing rahul giving an option payal how about australia it will be lovely there so she is giving an option option of which place which country it's about australia so when she is talking about australia without reading this if you start your conversation saying that anyhow you have 15 days of leave why can't we go and visit bangalore we shall go to bangalore the nearby places 
So if you go to Bangalore, it's nowhere connected to Australia. Correct? It is out of state, out countries. It, so here she's talking about Australia and you're talking about Bangalore. The whole conversation goes wrong. That's why I say first read the question. After reading the question, then start writing the answer or else you will not get any marks here. So what is the first thing here? Rahul Payal, my boss has accepted to sanction me how many days of earned leave? 15 days of earned leave. Rahul says his wife Payal that he has got a 15 days of earned leave. What she says? Oh, it's fine. It's fantastic. Superb. Fantastic. She says, it's fantastic. Or else it's superb that you have got 15 days of earned leave. Next, suggestion. So, suggesting. Rahul is suggesting. What is the suggestion here? So, Rahul is suggesting. What is suggesting? Shall we? Shall we? Go on tour for Italy. So, he is giving us his suggestion. So, what is saying? Shall we go on a tour for Italy? So, what she says? She is disagreeing. Disagreeing in the sense, she is not ready to go for Italy. She doesn't want to go for Italy because she has given her option that she likes to go to Australia. So she is not agreeing or she is disagreeing with the statement that is going to a uh, Italy. So what is her reply here? When he says, shall we go to Italy? She says, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because she doesn't want to go to this country. So she is not agreeing with the statement or the suggestion given by Rahul or by husband. So giving an option. So now he is giving an option. What is the option he is giving here? When he says about Italy, she will disagree. Then he says, how about, how about, Canada. Here she is not agreeing the suggestion given by Rahul going for Italy. She is disagreeing and here he is giving an option. If not Italy, can we go to Canada? But what is her reply? She says, how about Australia? Instead of going to Canada, how about Australia? It is the Lovely place. Can we visit that place? He gave the option to Canada, but she says, instead of that, why can't we go to Australia? So Rahul, but you know, I'm not much of a mountaineer. I'm not much interested about the mountaineers. So what Payal says, you love the sea, don't you? You love to enjoy in the sea. So her husband Rahul loves to enjoy the sea. So instead of going to Italy or Canada, better will go to Australia because you love to enjoy in the sea. Rahul, so what does he say? Will he agree or will he disagree for the statement? So Rahul says, yes, of course. So he says, Yes, of course, we will go to that place. Payal, why don't you call a travel agency right now? So when he says, when he agrees for that, now Payal is telling. So why can't you call to the travel agency right now? Right now in the sense, now itself. Call and find out what has to be happen next. So what does he say? What Rahul says, I will... I will or here I go right now. So 
when she says or when ask rahul to find out from the travel agency what he says so here what rahul says yes i will here i go right now so he just going right now to find out from the travel agency when i told in the informal way this is the informal way of writing a dialogue or the conversation when i say about the informal way there will be no greeting saying like hello how are you uh, all those things will be not told as well as there will be no leave taking say that thank you thank you for the help nothing will be there in the informal way of dialogue writing i hope it's clear and it's understood how to write the formal as well as informal way of dialogue writing i have one more exercise let's move on to the third one so exercise 3 nakul wants to take an appointment with the doctor here is a telephonic conversation so you should be very good when you when the telephonic conversation happens so here it is the conversation between nakul and receptionist so we doesn't actually know what nakul wants here why he needs an appointment with the doctor he himself is having an health issues or someone in the family or he just wants to have a talk or he just wants to discuss with the doctor we doesn't know what is all about it's just about an appointment with the doctor so let's see what is all about receptionist hello mysore hospital how may i help you nakul greeting and asking for an appointment receptionist i'm sorry dr mayu is on leave tomorrow nakul seeking information nakul no problem kindly fix an appointment with the doctor receptionist you can come down on 15th of this month at 11 am nakul leave taking so by reading this conversation you will get to know that nothing serious is. he just wants to come and consult the doctor he wants to discuss something with the doctor he is not having any health issues nor anyone serious in his family so by looking into this you need to complete the dialogue now so here receptionist she says hello my so hospital how can i help you so what is the answer here nakul greeting and asking for an appointment so when she says hello he might answer hello or good morning good afternoon whatever it is he says hello so he when he, when she has said hello he has to greet and he has to start his conversation in that way he says hello and continues his conversation asking for an appointment when can you fix an appointment with dr mayur so what does the receptionist say here i'm sorry dr mayur is on leave so she says what is her reply her reply is sorry because dr mayur is out of station he is not available right now so it is not possible for me to give an appointment she in a very polite way she is replying him so what does he says nakul seeking information so she told that doctor is not available now he wants to know when he will be back how he is seeking the information now he just seeks the information when can i get an appointment so right now he is not available no issues but when can i get the appointment again so when can i get an appointment he seeks the information when can i get the appointment and in a very polite way he says no problem kindly fix an appointment with the doctor when she says that he is not available he says no issues i don't have any problem but kindly fix an appointment with the doctor so receptionist says you can come down on 15th of this month at 11 am so she is giving an appointment when she is giving an appointment that he can come down on 15th of this month so when he when he can come to meet the doctor that is on the 15th of this month i'll give you an appointment at 11 o'clock you can meet 
Dr. Mayur. So now it's leave taking. So he says, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So again, it is a formal way of writing a dialogue. Hope you have understood what is dialogue writing, how to write the formal dialogue as well as the informal dialogue. I'll be back with at another new session that is job application. When I say job application, many students make mistakes here. What is the mistake is here in the sense you'll be not knowing the correct format. The format itself is a mistake what you do most of the time. So I'm there to help you out with the job application. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.